We will read today Shri Shri Radha Rasa Sudhaniti, verse number 134. Mm. There is an indescribable most blissful, transcendentally effulgent company that looks like blossoming golden and blue lotus flowers from which the honey of dynamic amorous plays trickles in Vrindavan and from whose lotus feet fresh delicious nectar flows. There is an indescribable, most blissful, transcendentally effulgent couple that looks like blossoming golden and blue lotus flowers from which the honey of dynamic amorous plays trickles in Vrindavana and from whose lotus feet fresh delicious nectar flows. The commentary name is Two Lotuses in a Lake of Rasa. No words can actually describe the transcendental pastimes of Shishi Radha Krishna. But Sri Pada gives an example to help the neophytes in their visualization. The divine couple, he says, resembles a delicious pair of lotus flowers in a lake of rasa. Once, Mohana came to Radhika in the disguise of a goddess and Radhika told him, Sisprema Samputra, just as a single lotus stem in a lake, blooms forth two flowers, one blue and one yellow. Similarly, 
our one soul manifesting within the lake of rasa sprouted our two bodies blue and yellow although radha and mohana's beauty and sweetness is unlimited some help is given here to conceive of it radhe radhe jacko i would like to stop here and i can start to say something and gurudev janan the maharaj and other devotees of course to add their more elaborated feelings so in the beginning it's very clear ananta das baba ji is saying that no words can actually describe the transcendental pastimes oshi shri radha moha but by his great compassion because his heart is melting of compassion shripad tries to give some descriptions of beautiful lilas beautiful nama rupa guna and lila of radha and krishna to help sadakas neophytes in their visualization he said so he is opening his heart and opening his heart is actually it's not common not that everyone rasik devotees wants to open the heart and this is bhajana rahasya because all pure devotees are keeping the realizations of their bhajan hiddenly rahasya like a secret but somehow because they are full of compassion they are trying to give some descriptions and explanations what they saw in their bhajan and we can see here from the first in the words prabodhananda saraswati is saying there is an indescribable he is admitting actually it's not possible to describe yugala kishor it's not possible but then he cannot resist because he has strong desire and urge to somehow describe and say there is indescribable and now he is starting to describe most beautiful transcendental effulgent couple who is look like a golden and blue lotus flowers from which honey of erotic place trickles in vrindavan so what is he is doing he is trying to find most attractive material objects 
most beautiful materialistic object to give some comparison with indescribable beauty of Radha and Mohan. And he is doing it in poetic way. Because he is relishing this bhajan and he wants to give the neophytes opportunity that they also relish it. How? Through visualization. And we can see that these words and comparison of Radha and Mohan when he's talking or writing that they are like a blue and golden lotus immediately brings in the screen of the mind and the heart some impression. And this impression of Radha Mohan's Rupa forms, beautiful forms in beautiful Ridavan gives some skaras, impressions in the heart of neophytes. Deep some skaras. Because his words are not ordinary words. His words are like mantras. full of prema. And this kind of words are giving deep impression in the heart of neophytes. And this is association which we desperately need of devotees who can give us this valuable samskaras which will make Sukriti in our heart also. And we will be able to start our visualization following their footsteps. Because here in the words, Prabhupada Saraswati is explaining reality, what he sees. And when we start to drink his words, then his emotions are going in the heart. And we can slowly visualize what he is talking, which kind of what uh, the window he is opening, window of reality, real reality. And this is why Guru Dev and other acharyas are saying we have to. Learn how to drink through the ears. Because if we drink through the ears, then immediately in front of our inner eyes, on the screen of our mind and heart, these beautiful lilas forms will appear. And it's this visualization is actually beginning of bhajan. And the more visualizations are deeper, the bhajan will be deeper. Taste will be more condensed. Attachment will appear. And strong emotions, rati, will appear. By the mercy, of course.
So when we listen these descriptions that Radha and Krishna are like lotuses, we have to go deeper in the meanings of this. Why he is using this word in different situations, in different lilas he is using or other acharyas are using this comparison because sometimes lotuses means something in the another, another time lotuses means something else, another thing. And this kind of descriptions is helping to go deeper. Otherwise, it will be not possible, actually, to start with visualization. Because only by reading the books, it will not happen in the full capacity. We need association of devotees who can give us, infuse their bhava in our heart so that we can properly understand what is written in scriptures and proper, receive proper bhava. From them. So, although the words cannot describe transcendental reality, <clears throat> these are not ordinary words. These syllables of these words are not ordinary syllables. This is the honey which is dripping from the heart of Rasik devotees. And we have to have strong faith that this is the truth and this is the only help and solution for us. we have to relish the words. It's not possible that everything can be explained. Like Gurudev many times is saying, I don't want to draw you. I give you hints and you have to relish and go deeper and to got your own realization. So this is the power of mantras and this is the power of words. I try to say something. Gurudev, you want to? No words can actually describe the transcendental pastimes of Shri Radha Krishna. But Sri Pada gives an example to help the neophytes in their visualization. The, the divine couple he says, resembles a delicious pair of lotus flowers in a lake of rasa. Once Krishna came to Radhika in the disguise of a goddess and Radhika told him, Just as a single lotus stem in a lake blooms forth two flowers, one blue and one yellow. 
Similarly, our one soul manifesting within the lake of Rasa sprouted forth our two bodies, blue and yellow. Although Radha and Mohana's beauty and sweetness is unlimited, some help is given here to conceive of it. Eka Atma Dui Dekaburu. One soul to one. One soul to one. And one thing, when we are in Sadhguru then we are in Narayana. And Aura Mantra is telling, Vishambharaya is given. What is the meaning of Vishambharaya? Vishambharaya means, in all the circumstances where I see, only I see you. In Sadhakya. Where my vision goes, only in all universe, Vishambar means all universe, you are only there. Tanno Gaur Prachubhya, that Gaur means Ratha and Krishna. Gaura, Gaur means Krishna, Ram means Ratha. In Sadhakya, if you are in Siddhadeha, then Prem, your love, Rupai, even. Prem Rupai. Your love in Eastern Nishtha has to be so fixed that you see their divine color and form and the details beauty of them. Like you see the lotus flower, how they are living in the mud and water but they are not attached to that. They are not like us. They are very divine. When they say it's like lotus, living with everywhere, but they are lotus. But the color is different. Because they say it's different. Maximum place you see the blue, the sky blue. Water is blue. Is Where you see from the eyes is blue. When this beauty of seeing the blue will come, Radhika is so Back to see the blue, Krishna's blue, then her eyes also become thinking is looking that way. Similarly, you could make it for 
that is also true. Every day when the sun rises, everything you see in light, in darkness we cannot see. So our consciousness has to be light and yellow. If the consciousness is a dark, we are living in the ignorance. <coughs> we cannot see the light. Divinity, because it's a divine force of everyone, because they are one soul, they are not separate. One soul and two bodies. Only for us to do that. to the love feeling and they are helping us by one soul. They took two color and two form and two body. So we have to meditate in the color. We have to meditate in the form. The understanding of the lotus to start with that. What is the beauty of lotus? When you meditate in the blue lotus and yellow lotus, you will understand the beauty of that. That lotus will be not normal lotus, it will be divine lotus. Aparu is looking ocean or river, he said in Japna what? Mahaprabhu will see the mountain and he said, go over that. Why? Because he is so fixed in his uh, position that he does not see anything outside of that. It's so much in the power of it that he only very thinking and feeling, living in that place. So when the prema is growing in our life, then we know the beauty of the rupa, form of the prema. We become only see only one rupa. Nothing other thing is visible. I can see. So Eastern Nishtha make us fix to point. Is a river or ocean of what is that? Lake of Rasa. Lake of Rasa. Rasa is who? Krishna. Raso Vaisa. Hint. Parkia. What is the meaning of Parkia? You have to find out the meaning of that word. That is Parkia. Rasika, when they write, they write in Parkia. And our Gauriya Granth are all in Parkiyava. You have to research to understand the meaning of that person. There is one book, his name Prema Sampur. This book is Sampur means. Collections, what you say, of the Prima. But how to understand the divine love? That is Prima Sampur. Yeah. He 
means and directly. Then, yeah. Huh? In seventeen, uh, I see this book and I listen to it. Famous. How to be connection of the support support connections of the brain. How this works. And Shiradika directly speaks with her beautiful yes. heart and explanations actually about so, her own love in that book. Prema, but you say Radhika. <laughs> Rasa is a Krishna. Only the Rasa can say. When somebody says Rasa, it's Krishna. Everybody wants Rasa. Why? Everybody likes Krishna. We say Rasa. We want to uh, live in Rasa. We want to only to, to search Rasa. This is the desire. But how to be in Rasa without feelings? If I have no feelings, how I can be in Rasa? Very simple thing. If I have no feeling, how I can relish Rasa? And why, what is the meaning of feeling? Who is the highest feeling? Mahabhava. And if I want to go to Mahabhava, such a lotus feet, and I have no small feelings in my life, how I can be close to her? I can feel her and mercy is getting. So, Radhika is there. We are talking about feelings. You, without talking about Radha and Krishna, you can talk deepest thing. Thing. That is particular. And that clean our material lust itself. This is the beauty. Of taking the Mahaprabhu and in the associates. Yeah. Yes, we are very fortunate. I'm very fortunate by sitting all of you. Some feelings of relaxation, and I learn every day, every day, by the grace of your there, I'm just like a student to learn by looking all of your work. You inspire some honest person to have children. You are Prabhupada. One time I am listening. I was in America, in Miami. I opened one video of Prabhupada that he was to find his Guru Dev in the appearance of Bhakti Siddhanta. And I, he said, I am just a student. And I, I, I you all are expansion of my Guru Dev. And you, I receive the mercy of my Guru Dev through all of you. And everybody is start crying and Prabhupada is full of tears. 
I maybe repeat and repeat and repeat, perhaps looking this this feeling of Prabhupada and his face and all the disciples, young boys, so much ecstasy. Who can think without nothing? If he is not lusting, ego will dance on him that I am, I become a lava puja pratishtha. It's all blessing. After so much getting, he was so humble like a spread of grass, simple, chocolate. <laughs> that increase our body. Mm. It was really very, very special moment. So this is a prema. That's good. Very good. Seed. Is proud of and which moment and which time it is proud, nobody knows. Surprise, huh? it's a surprise, surprise that makes surprise. Yeah. Although Radha and Mohana's beauty and sweetness is unlimited. Ah. Ah, yeah. Some help is given here to conceive of it. See when the gopis were separated from Krishna during the Rasa dance in Srimad Bhagavad, they compare even one single eye of Krishna's to a lotus flower. O Lord of Eros, O bestower of blessings, with your eye that is as beautiful as an autumnal lotus flower blooming in a nice lake. You are taking the lives of your unpaid maidservants. Therefore, unpaid, if you ask anything, you are paid. Amazon. Then you have become amateur <laughs> after becoming a maidservant. Unpaid maidservant means never to ask. <laughs> Unpaid Never to ask this teaching who teaches. Jesus, never to us. This is unfed, real son. Why to us? If you cannot see, why I will say something to you? You are happy, I am happy. Your happiness is my happiness. Never to us because we are unpaid. And if you ask your pet, you 
you think that he is Amazon? I order and supply. <laughs> Stop people. With your eye that is as beautiful as an autumn lotus flower blooming in a nice lake. You are taking the lives of your unpaid maid servants. Isn't this murder? If Krishna's one eye is so beautiful, then what to speak of his whole body? Wow. Of Sri Radhika's body. And this the, is the whole body, na? If you see all the yellow color, it's not the whole one eye. You have to see the yellow and blue also. Then you see the eyes. Then what about the beauty of whole body? Because they are one soul, na? two body become. <laughs> they are one soul. Never forget this. Two body. So there are two eyes. One is red everywhere. Yellow and blue. One eye is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. One lotus flower is so beautiful. Other is also beautiful. What about full body? If Krishna's one eye is so beautiful, wow. then was to speak of his whole body, Shirada's body, and the ever increasing beauty of their union. Who can make a comparison with that? One soul. Oh. And you say you not become one. Then what? One soul took two bodies. For why? From my understanding, our understanding, for the new sadhakas who has no idea much how I can understand they do this job. If they meet, they want to be one. It's a nature, their nature. Sometimes, Gurudev, these two lotuses, blue, yellow, they exchange the role. The lotus, blue lotus thinks that he becomes yellow, and yellow, with strong feelings, thinks that she becomes a blue lotus. And if you mix the blue and yellow, yeah. what we can be 
and this is is a is an extension natural without becoming natural normal how we can see the world and the other how i can identify our kin this is a natural this is our nature to be that right yes good as i bow and eastness is so important and eastness have doubt that i bow never can because when the east is not fixed my sovereign is not fixed in my life how my salute will come always i will be ping pong with my demand sometimes this bow is coming sometimes this bow but jesus never changed his bow he lies his bow that his son and he died with his bow that has to be Take our life, fix it, and die with that power. Take from our heart some important thing, natural, not a natural do. Who lies? Everyone has to be respected to love them. So, without this pure love, in pure relationship, it's not possible to be natural. It's a point. And the soul is always hankering for this natural position. Normal position. Normal position. Prabhupada's life is Bhagavad Gita, last word. Last life, normal position. We have to be normal there. Mahaprabhu is saying, I'm nothing. I am not sannyasi. I am not Brahman. I am not Girasa. I am nothing. This is not the point. Why we some some uh, name plate? And responsibility of the head, we are the Tatsya, unpaid Tatsya. What is that? Unpaid. Unpaid. Why you want to take the level that you are paid to make the level? Any level is paid to make the level. Right now. Yes. Gurudev, can you repeat this, please? It's we couldn't hear. Any label is. It's payment, sir. But you got it. You got the payment for that. You are yes. paid by the my swami <laughs> that you have to do this job. We are unpaid. We are not Amazon. We don't want to ask from my swami any return of that. Unpaid. We have to follow some unpaid measure. What? <laughs> What make label on that? We are also paid measure. Why? Unpaid. That 
why not do some business, no earning money? Who said that? I do for my family because I have to arrange everything. Who will I do that? Men's servant has to do that. What is the meaning of my servant if I no care for of them and they I put in trouble? Then why take care of the children? And why not I will take care? Because this is all gift of her to me to care these children. So why not I will care for to make for her some needs unpaid myself. They are not ready to do that. Try, try, try. One day will happen that it will be success. They will understand this. Why you try for that? Because I also, my Guru Dev tried a long time for me to change me, and I am not ready to change. <laughs> Why I expect that they will change so far? Try, service, try, try. Time will come, everything will happen. When the time will come. When they will get the supti automatic love matra, sadhu sangha, sabasiddhi, one minute, one second of real sadhu sangha will get it, all realization will come in life. Anarthani with Anarthani with Are Anarthan, nobody can live it. Nobody can do it. Whole body is with Anartha. Whole senses is Anartha. My ego is Anartha. How I can remove? I cannot do. Without the mercy, it never happens anything. And when mercy comes, without doing nothing, it is start happening. That there is no anatta, and everything is itself. How, how I can afford anatta? To remove it is impossible. <laughs> that Mahajan said, Bhajan Kriya. If you do Bhajan, careful with your Kriya, so behavior, what you are doing, thinking, planning, this has to be stopped. Kriya also changes. Kriya. Activity is that we care. Bhajan and Kriya has to be one. Then it will be no Nama Vahas. So many years I try to explain, to understand many ourselves, because when he's talking, I never understand. So when Mahajan Mahasika, 
one moment realization. This is not my is it Kripa? Is the mercy of Swami is happening? When they want to accept our Dasi, they must, they must, or another size one, they must, that I accept you. Right? See, my, from her angerness, and love to the masses. Then Sripada reveals the sweetness of Radha Mohana's qualities by saying, They are swaying, making the nectar of amorous play trickle and drip. Just as honey drips from swaying, freshly blooming lotus flowers, transcendental honey made of ecstatic love play trickles from these incomparable golden and bluish lotus flowers. Yeah. Lotus now. You cannot talk to any place, but you are talking to yourself this day. How many times did you do that? Is the death is not day here? And not only talking about blue and yellow. Why? That you also fix your mind like that. Any blue, yellow, you see, any black, any light, you see the other. Why you see that here? Are you a sadhakya? That why not you see Radha Krishna in every place? Are why you not see everywhere it is? You see, this plastic is a plastic, right? But you see that. Not Radha Krishna. Why this color is so nice? Because this is a little dark and light. Right? That is nothing that you not do. You wear one in the t shirt in the dark mm -hmm. and white you wear. Why you wear this? To give pleasure to the eyes. Yeah. And why this pleasure coming? Because this is the symbol of Radha. You watch details go. That is the realization. Huh? You want to be outside or you want to go through it. Going in is realization. Living outside is no realization. Right? Feel it. Oh. 
functions in the ocean when it will go very deep on the what you say. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Under deep water on the base of that. On the bottom. Bottom of that. Means in deepness, depths of that subject. Water, then you will get the joy. Right? Not here, I think. Kandarma Kelly means that they try to make each other happy <laughs> with their amorous endeavors. When a mundane love couple, <clears throat> when a mundane love couple thinks, why isn't our love play also not called Kandar Pakeli? We also unite to make each other happy. Then the scriptures and the saints will reply. This is possible when God, who is the supreme truth and the self of selves, becomes the object of that love. That's the point. If he is not object, that is not his love. Try to understand why my mind is going to materialize. In Bangla, read again three times and understand this line. And I say this is sloka. I have to so the pretty one very calm and read this one. This is the explanation of this sloka. Brother? Kanda. Yeah. Kandarpa Kelly means that they try to make each other happy with their amorous endeavors. When a mundane love couple thinks, why isn't our love play also not called Kandar Pakeli? We also unite. Down, down, we also oh, unite to make each other happy. Then the scriptures and the saints will reply as follows. This is possible when God, who is the supreme truth and self of selves, becomes the object of that love. God is the object. So, East has to be fixed. If the East is not fixed, it, it will, by listening for past time, we will want to be doing one day in the world. Why not? I can do and it will be like that. So, if today has to be fixed, then this love goes to this if your mind is fixed in Radhika, then it goes only to her. No dear worship. That is Mr. Dev. His mind has to be fixed with her. Without that, not possible. No possible. It will again come to the material world because she is not there. The goal is not there. Many goals will happen. 
Major will become minor, minor will become major. And we will be fed in the college. Yeah. And when she is there, then the love flows automatically. Automatically, any circumstances, any moment, it will flow and go right place and mm -hmm. I will receive right words. This is the point. Mm -hmm. the, the diversion moment comes and the <laughs> many trophy lollipop kingdom will come. Take this or take this. With the Siddhi were coming and all they are coming, they will give more, more lollipop or trophy mm -hmm. and best one that you taste it. Now your decision. You want this and this material or spiritual. Well, this there is not fixed. We have a pandemic. Big one, big one, big one. You say, how do you know this? Because I do this mistake, ping pong, ping pong. That we I know. And our love is spilling all over the place instead of going where it belongs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has to be what find it. <clears throat> feeling has to be one pointed. Feeling, not feeling, it has to become in the thicker feeling. That is Mahabha. You have to take shelter of Mahabha and live with little feeling that my feeling becomes thicker and thicker and thicker. That's not the goal of life. You are not losing. You do nothing to stop it. Add it. Say, I never say to stop anything. I never say to cut any name in your list. I say add it. Do it one plus and see that. But major has to be major and minor has to be minor. And what is your situation? What is major and minor that you decide? If you select that major is very clear to clean your young, then clean the major subjects and the life itself. And if you are interested in minor, do that. Right? What is the problem? No Go on. Light Goranga. Yes, Guru. This is the difference between love and lust. Why you waste your time to think in negative for anyone? Make all positive. Who is to come to you negative, say positive. What is the business of why you bother it? It's all wasted. Our time. This is spiritual intelligence, actually. And we need this spiritual intelligence. It's not something which belongs to conditioned soul. Spiritual intelligence must be infused. The Dadi Buddhim Yoga.
no one has this kind of intelligence in his conditioned life. This, like you said, this body is full of anartas, and it always be. But, and how spiritual intelligence can appear in this body? It can appear <laughs> in the heart, in the mind of the person. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not possible. We cannot conquer anartas with anartas. <laughs> <laughs> Without knowing about the transcendental existence of the Supreme Self within the lover or beloved, real love is not possible and the love will be mundane. And the love will be mundane. Again. I want to learn this. I start from beginning. So when a mundane love couple thinks, why isn't our love play called Kandar Bakeli? We also unite to make each other happy. Then the scriptures and saints will reply, this is possible. When God, who is the supreme truth and the self of selves, becomes the object of that love. That I want to say now. Atmasud Priti Vancha Dhare Kamna. If you are the enjoyer, and you are acting in the enjoyment mode, that karma is a karma. And it will, you are not possible to be a Krishna, and you want to be a Krishna, that will be your karma, means they say, anartha. And Krishna Supriti Vancha, if you are in that is, is stage of consciousness, you, you are in the service of Krishna. You see Krishna there. And you are serving in the service mode. That is a favor. So, prem, come. Service nature has to be so fixed in the sadhak deha that this body is 24 7 till he is acting. It has to be in service. Seva. Then, in that stage also, when the material calm deva is very heavy. That time also your service mood can be strong. And you only see Krishna, then maybe you will recognize as a gopi, not Rathadas. Gopi Bhav will come, but not Rathadas. You are paid in service. Radha Dasis are unpaid ones. Nothing payments are there. Unpaid No result expectation. That is meaning of unpaid Right? Mm. 
that's okay, you will be good to go. And it said, Gurudev, and it yes. said, desire to gratify one's own senses is karma, yeah. lust. Yeah. Yeah. But desire to please the senses of Krishna <laughs> yeah. At the moment, is karma. That is the senses. You feel that even the Krishna, then you will become Gopi the Gopi Bhav will come, but King Kri and Dasina, you are not Radha Dasi, unfit. Right, King Kri? Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
it's not theory, theoretically knowing. It's something which comes through relationship. Yeah. It's not, I know that. It doesn't no. work like that. It's really knowing. Wow. Yeah. That's the point. With my relation knowing, with my love knowing, I have a belief in knowing, and I feel it, and I want to be with that. That is meaning of knowing. Intuition. Yeah. And I want to be in this knowing. Many knowing will come, I have no interest in other knowing. It's all because of this knowing. That's it. This relation, this samanda, is in my face of my movement. Because it's not material, it is divine. I know, but I know want to fix it. Fixing is the beauty of this. I don't want to go more deep in the relations. We want to keep distance. Oh, no, no, no. You are not my only friend. We are friends at that truth. That is better knowing to me. <laughs> we don't want to know. This is the material life either. We don't want to accept. Right. That's mercy when the knowledge is offered. The knowledge of God is offered to us. Yeah. And we are searching for knowledge, huh? but we are in less knowledge. We are trying and trying and creating more problem in life. See that? We are jumping from one to two, two to three, four, to experience and knowledge. And what is to know that I forget to do? Knowing here and no knowing there is okay. But we, we are, the habit is not knowing relation here and no relation here. Done. Nature becomes like this. Without knowing, without knowing about the transcendental existence of the Supreme Self within the lover or beloved, real love is not possible. And the love will be Monday. Radhe, so deep Sunday. Yananda Maharaj can explain. He is known as a funny cloud guy. Now, subject here for you. Again, read. Without knowing about the transcendental existence of the Supreme Self within the lover or beloved, real love is not possible and the love will be mundane. 
So <clears throat> we are thinking. I'm. I'm doing. I'm enjoyer. I'm master. Then we forget. In ourselves, also in our beloved or our lover, in the in the our beloved lover is Lada Mohan there. Then we forget we are Dasi of Lada Rani. Dasi of Lada Rani does not ask anything. This is unpaid. Uh, Unpaid servant. But say some 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 person who is a by the bhakta or like a baikuntabasi may desire something or even saki may ask something or oh, I want to enjoy with Moha. But uh, Lada Dashi does not think I'm enjoyer. Our enjoyer is Swamini and Moha. We want to be a Dashi of Radharani. If Radharani enjoy or Radha's Moha enjoy, that is our pleasure. Yeah. And we don't ask anything. Radha Dashi does not ask anything from Swamini or even Radha's Mohan. We are satisfying that 24-7 <laughs> loving Seba for Radha Rani and Radha's Mohan. But this is very theoretically very makes sense. But uh, if we practice in in practical life, we have to be Guru Dev saying we have to be very careful because any time uh, some ego is coming. Oh, I am such a great devotee. Oh. Many devotees glorify me. Oh, I am such and such. This kind of ego is coming. And Guru Dev is saying, name, fame, and profit, adoration, and distinction. Lava Puja Pratista, that is coming. So, but if we fix the seva for our Guru Dev and our Radha Mohanji, then, then, if we get their mercy, only, only by their mercy, we can conquer. That's unwanted thing. This is Guru Dev saying. This is Kripa Siddha. By our own, own endeavor, it is almost impossible to control this, these things. Only by Kuripa, Sadhguru Vaishnava Kuripa, that Kuripa can, could stay our in, in Stai Baba. For us, especially Manjari Baba, Radha's, Dasi's, Abhima. As far as, you know, as far as my understanding, this is, we need only Kuripa, Guru Kuripa, Vaishnava Kuripa, Sadhu's Kuripa. I guess that's, I need that Kuripa Guru then. Please give, give me that Kuripa. Pardon me one thing. By listening you, always you inspire me. You inspire me. Kripa will happen when the circumstances will become favorable. 
and we don't avail that circumstances, we don't realize the truth. Circumstances also is very difficult to be in favorable circumstances. Gurudev, can I literally share a little bit? Yeah, please. Before I was, say, before I was rather, you know, Krishna Bhakta, even though I, I may, I may, I want to be Radha Dasi, but uh, I, I was Krishna Bhakta before, honestly. But at that time, I could not feel mercy, not so much. But we, now we try to be a Radha Dasi. Many amazing things are happening. I completely surprised. Recently, a few devotees looking for a job. And uh, they are quite uh, sincerely praying and trying to do seva. And Radha Rani gave, gave us such a nice job. I completely shocked. Oh my God. I, we, we pray. I pray for them. But Radha Rani is so merciful. Guru Dev is so merciful, you know. And everybody get nice job for the service of Radha. Radha. This yeah. is Kuripa Guru Dev. Your Kuripa. Radha Mohan's Kuripa. It's Radha Mohan Kuripa, but yeah. I hate Kuripa. Is a surprising thing happening, and the life become whole, comfortable, normal. This is very okay. normal because Gurudev, I did not do anything, but automatically something happening. I I know one example of Prakashananda. Yes, Prakashananda is amazing. You see, he only want to serve you. And he got the uh, Tokyo job and best job than that. And more of will come. Hundred percent it will happen like this. So anyone can believe that Gopinath is living in Vrindavan and working in an international company. Anyone can believe Gopinath. And it's true. And both, they are like a Gopika is a mother of Ashram. She is caring like a mama to everyone. And real president of this Ashram is Gopika. These are doing. I don't do anything. So what is happening? So much power he has. I surprised. Whole day and night he is never tired. <laughs> This is the love. And I see the picture. Please. 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 Rade, rade, hoćete li isključiti mikrofon, molim vas? Jer se čujete šta međusobno pričate. Hvala. Hvala. 
कर लो अब जब मीटिंग में दस पंद्रह मिनट का टाइम तो यू आर आई फील वेरी प्राउड Gurukripa 